Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to do a pack with me for Jamaica, but more in a vlog style because I've done a few of these on my channel. I'll link them, but they're more a formal style where I'm sharing with you guys like tips and tricks on how to pack so you're able to pack a lot of things in that way. So if you want to watch that one, I'm obviously going to link it. But in this video, I'm going to share with you guys like some tips, how to pack a lot of things for Jamaica and still be at the 50 pound limit and how to pack valuables and how not to get charged at customs. And I have a lot of tricks in this video because I've been doing this my whole life. So if you're interested, make sure you guys stay tuned because I have it all. I'm gonna share with you guys everything and let's get into this packing vlog that I'm gonna share with you guys. Let's talk about suitcases first. So there's three types that people usually bring down. There's this here. I'm gonna just, just use this, this carry on as a reference for one type of suitcase. Okay, so there's the older style suitcases where I'm going to put a picture on the screen. So there's those type of suitcases. And then there's these types. I'm just using the carry-on version of it. So as you can see, these ones move everywhere, like east, west, north, and south. They don't really just pull one way as the older models do. And they're more like hard cover. And then there's the bag version of the suitcases. So this, this is the one I'm actually gonna pack with today, but I'm gonna use this carry-on as a demonstration for this video. So there's the older suitcases, okay? Those suitcases I like and I use all the time. Now the reason why I use them all the time is because they're similar to the bag suitcases where it's only just the material and there's no heavy weight added onto the suitcase. So that's why a lot of people go for the older style suitcases. And so if you know that you're bringing a lot of things down to Jamaica, people more gravitate to it because there's no extra pounds added to it, okay? And you guys have to keep that into mind. Now, if you guys wanna see really how those suitcases look, you have to look at my older Pack With Me videos because I use those a lot. Okay, so there's these ones as well. So I, so these ones were the more heavier, modern, hard shell suitcases. Now, I bought a set on Amazon before, but that set broke up on me, so. I don't know what happened, but these ones a lot of people like because again, they're more modern. They move around in the airport like this, so you don't have to drive the suitcases with one style. They do last a long time depending on the how much you spend on the suitcase because as I said, I bought like a set on Amazon for like one something I think it was and then I don't know if it's just Jamaica where they pop off your stuff when they're bringing like handling your things or the suitcase wasn't as good quality so the only con for these ones is that majority of these suitcases add extra pounds onto it so before you even put things in it it already weighs a certain amount of pounds so you so you guys have to take that into consideration this has nothing in it but this probably is like a few pounds already just being empty i don't know why i think it's just how they make it or what they make it with oh also they can't cut into your suitcases with these type of material suitcases as well because in the older model or in the like the bag material here, the, yeah. they can cut into your suitcases with the knife. So they can cut in like this, so they can cut it and go into it. You just pick and choose what you like. Like honestly, when it comes to suitcases, I could care less. I just want to make sure that I can put a lot of things in it. And you guys probably know if you go to Jamaica a lot, you guys want to carry down a lot of things, especially if you're staying for a while. And things are just cheaper up here than in Jamaica, so that's why a lot of people bring down a lot of stuff. And then some people bring things for people, right? So I don't care about how my suitcases look. Like if you, if, if you ask me, First tip is, I feel, I feel like everyone knows this, is you want to wrap the lids of your liquids or just product just so you avoid spillage, okay? Oh Let me know down below your guys' horror stories when it comes to your stuff exploding or spilling in your suitcase. Now, you want the big heavy-duty tapes. Don't be using these type of tapes. I'm gonna try it. I never used it before, but this is all my sister has at her house, so. All you want to do, of course, is just wrap up. Wrap it up. And I make sure that I wrap wood and crop on. What is happening? So make sure you guys wrap it good, 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 good. And if you don't, as I said, there's going to be some spillage. There's going to be some leakage. And we all want to avoid that, especially if you're bringing down new bowls, which everyone does. From the tape, it's going to get spilled. Even if it does break down. Now, if you guys want to know what clothing items to bring to Jamaica, I have a whole entire video on that. So you guys can go watch that video. Okay, so that's that. Now let's go into like actually putting stuff in. Show you guys. Here's a tip. When it comes to Jamaica and you get your new things in like these packages, always take your stuff out of the package. And if you really want to go an extra step, take the tags off for your clothes. Because in Jamaica, when they're searching through your stuff, if they see it and things like this, they're gonna say it's new and they're gonna to wanna to charge you like custom fees at the airport. 
And if you don't want to pay the price, they're just going to take the things and bring it home for themselves or whatever they do with it. They don't do it all the time depending on the people, the person that you get, but you never can take no chances. Honestly, a lot of times I don't take it off the text, but I do take it out the original packaging because they're going to think that you're going to resell it. And if you, even if you are going to resell it, it's none of their business. I don't know why they care. But if you do know, let me know down below in the comments. Here's the second tip. So what you want to do is you just want to roll your stuff because when you roll it, look how small this is. So you want to roll compared to just leaving it like this. You can because it's still flat and then putting it in your suitcase. But I would recommend you guys rolling. Let me know down below if you guys do the rolling method as well, okay? That's what you guys want to do. Take them out the packaging and roll. Dash that. But yeah, see how this is that full? They're gonna be like, oh, are you selling these back? No, mind your business. I heard so many stories where they took like people's like hair that they bought with their own money. They want them to clear it at, in the airport. Like what? You bought your hair for $600. Yeah. You want to clear it for another 500. Just to clear right. it. So you're just like, okay, then I don't want the hair no more. Exactly. And the girl leaves. Unless you go to the airport, you send girl the same one, same week. Right? Let's go to the next tip. See, like stuff like this, don't be that person and just put the whole box in it. Because once you go to Jamaica, just you just know you're not gonna get this back if you don't clear it. Like pay the hundred thousand dollars to clear that. Because they're gonna be like, first of all, what's in it? They have to obviously look at it just for um, security reasons, like if it's not any drugs, guns, ammunition, but then they're gonna be like, oh, are you like reselling this? Is this new? Speaking of new, we're gonna talk about that in a bit actually. So here's the second tip. So I know some people like breaking down valuables to Jamaica, sorry. So I'm gonna share with you guys how you guys can bring these valuables down without them getting broken. So what you wanna do is either get a very thick material, very thick and soft, so no jeans at all. I'm just gonna use this, so this is just a glass bowl. So if you're bringing out any home decor for your house through your suitcase, just use this tip. Everyone needs to go on my mom's channel and comment and tell her to do a lifestyle channel so she can teach you guys everything because I saw my mom once brought a vacuum in her suitcase to Jamaica for our house in Jamaica. She took apart the vacuum and put it in her suitcase and put it back together. She also brought down a bookshelf through her suitcase. She took about this part of the bookshelf, put it in her suitcase, and then she brought it down, so. The OGs of packing bag. I just wrapped it. Make sure it's a thick material because when it's thick, if anything knocks it, it's going to be okay. So I just wanna show you guys. Just wrap it, and then you're going to put it in here. And then if you guys want, you guys can do the same with these things too. It's really up to you. It makes sense too because it's gonna go in the suitcase regardless, so you can just hide it in here. Wrap it, push it in. And then you can do it just for everything. Your toothbrushes, um, them in right the next tip is especially if you know that you're bringing delicates that may break okay so this is how it looks so far i'm not like pills and stuff so when you're at the airport you can tell the person that's checking you in to put fragile all over your stuff so when i'm at the airport i always make sure for them to put fragile even if i even don't have fragile things in it because They'll just take care of my suitcase much more and they won't be throwing it down. Even though suitcases are made for those things, but you can just do that. So that's a tip. Tell them to put fragile on your stuff and they will, trust me. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is like if you're bringing down a gift for someone and how to do it and not get charged custom fees, okay? Because this is a tip and hopefully, yeah, this is just a tip, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're bringing, let's just, just say a fire stick for somebody or a phone. Okay, let's do the phone because I feel like the phone is a, a more relatable. So say if you're bringing a phone for somebody and you still want to bring the box for them because it's a gift, right? You just want to give them the phone like that. You feel like a little bit more nicer bringing the box. Let me tell you guys what to do. So take the phone out of the box and you're going to keep this phone in your handbag if you're male or female. So put it in a small little pocket in your handbag or in your purse, wherever. Keep it in your pocket if you're a boy. It doesn't matter. Like, so just keep this where you keep your personal things, okay? Don't put this in your carry-on or in your suitcase because when they open up the suitcase and see this, they're gonna be like, why is your personal phone in your suitcase in your carry-on? They're gonna obviously know that you're gonna give it to someone or sell it to someone, which is none of their concern. I'm gonna say that again, it's none of their concern, but they're gonna wanna charge you a high price and then they're gonna try and charge you a super high price that you're gonna have to force you to leave it there so they can like take the phone. I shouldn't say that because maybe it's not. They're gonna take, they're, it's not for their own personal use, but they're just gonna have it, keep it at the airport. So just pretend it's your personal phone. So just keep it where you would put your personal phone, your personal cards, your personal wallets, right? So just carry it as a regular phone. And then this is what you're going to do. Now, if you still wanna keep the box, you're just gonna break down the box. So see how I broke down this box completely? Just break it down and just push it at the bottom of your suitcase. And then put your stuff over it like this. 
And then when you go back to Jamaica, you can just take out the thing out of wherever you had it and then put back up the box, like form it back again, put a little tape on it, and then just give it to the person. Simple. So that's what I do. So if you keep the original box, just store it separately. separately. Now, so say if you're bringing like a fire stick set for somebody, and this is for people who bring down like cameras and stuff like that, cameras, cameras and camera equipment, because they ask me this all the time when I go down. You want to tell them that it's used and it's under 500 because then when you tell them that it's used, they're really okay, how much does it value? Just say like it's like $200 or $100. Like, it's not a business. Huh? Tell them it's a dollar. Right? If you tell them that it's new, you're gonna have to clear it. Like, they're going to force you to clear it, which is so weird. I know a lot of people who don't mind paying like the 60,000, 80,000 and they go, they're just like whatever. It's really up to you. I do this because I just find it annoying that I'm paying for something then I have to pay again because you, yeah, there's no actual reason for it, but you guys can always educate me down below if I'm wrong. So the next thing is that you guys want to weigh your suitcase. I always just use a regular just weight that's a scale that you weigh your body. And you just want to make sure it's the, the amount that the country allows you or the airplane, sorry, the airline allows you, okay? So I always wait at home. Another tip that I'm going to give you guys, again, you guys have to watch this in my other videos or you can watch it in my Jamaica vlogs as well. But I always go way earlier than my flight. I know a lot of people don't like going to the airport early for their flights, but I do it because you want to weigh your stuff on their actual scale. So sometimes they'll have like free scales or airline isn't using to book in people. So you can just go over to there if the scale's on and just weigh your stuff there. And it'll tell you if you're overweight and underweight and then if you're overweight obviously you're gonna take out things and put it in like an extra bag see I have I have even more tips so but you guys have to watch those tip videos because I'm not gonna share everything in this video you guys go and watch it those <laughs> there's actually tips I have for if you're overweight at the airport too so you guys can watch that video I'm gonna link it three ways to deal with over being overweight for your Jamaica vacation so you just want to weigh okay make sure you guys weigh instead of when you go up to actually book and that's when you have to open your suitcase in front of everybody and, and watch the last tip is make your suitcase stand out. So figure out some way, either it's by the choice of color that you're gonna use for your suitcase, the color of the suitcase, or or if you're someone who just like plain black suitcases, which I recommend because they hide dirt. Especially if you travel a lot, you don't want your suitcase to be like discolored and ugly after a while. I know some people don't like this, but you can add like a, a colored string or they have like travel passes that you tie onto your suitcases. Suitcase that has your name and like your phone number, like contact information in case your suitcase goes lost. You can do that a nice and bright color so you can identify your suitcase when it comes around the thing. I feel like that's mainly people's challenge is like seeing what suitcase is there is when it's coming on the, I don't want to say roundabout, <laughs> the trolley thing. I make sure I do that. That's how I identify all my suitcases so quick and pull it off and put it on my car and just leave. I see people like they'll go up to the suitcase and be like, is that mine? And then they'll try and like fiddle with the person's like tag while it's going yeah. around. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's number one embarrassing because most people get like hit over and fall or someone's blocking them because people are waiting for their suitcase as well. I would do the second one to tie something on it so you can just identify it. A lot of people think it's like old school and ratchet, but just do it. Again, don't listen to people. Do what makes sense for you and what's easy and convenient. It's all about being convenient for Jamaica, making stuff easy and packing a lot of things. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Again, watch my Jamaica vlogs if you wanna see any of my Jamaica vlogs on my channel. Again, on my channel, I have a lot more Jamaica tips, tricks, advice. So watch those and I'll see you guys in my next video, which will be my Jamaica vlog. Uh, and yeah, or vlog. <laughs>